YouTube audience. Uh, today is July the 18th, 2021. Uh, I just got this Ponderosa Pine seedling. Um, I want to do some uh, quick work on the tree to clean it up. Uh, so Ponderosa Pine is native to Pacific Northwest, uh, so it's relatively inexpensive. This seedling, I got it for $9.91. Um, and uh, so it's um, fairly inexpensive. The reason I got this because I recently uh, had a short video um, documenting some of the huge trees uh, outside the Woodland Park Zoo which has some of the most beautiful bark I've ever seen uh, and I asked the uh, audience what pine it is someone offered the answer of Ponderosa pine and I think it's a relative to that those trees are actually uh, a relative to the ponderosa pine, which may be a Jeffrey pine, because the plate are smaller than the ponderosa pine, but the two are in fact very similar. Uh, so then after seeing what kind of plate uh, the tree uh, can produce when it's aged, um, I think it's the ponderosa pine is just one of the best pine that I can get because the beautiful plate it produced although the plate is the bark the plate is larger than the um, than the Jeffrey pine but still it's extremely beautiful so the needle of a ponderosa pine uh, look like this. It come in bundle of three. Uh, so, and also the difference between Ponderosa and uh, Jeffrey Pine is um, the Jeffrey Pine produce cones that are not prickly, and uh, Ponderosa Pine cone is very prick prickly. So prickly Ponderosa, gentle Jeffrey. Um, so, uh, but they are otherwise pretty similar. I'm just going to get rid of these yellow needles. It's a, it's a actually a yellow pine. It's not black pine, not white pine, not uh, red pine, it's yellow pine, it's the first yellow pine I have, um, so it would be interesting to see what's the difference of the growing habit. I'm going to get rid of a lot of these yellow needles. This is a very large pine tree. It can grow to 50 to 150 feet tall. And also Jeffrey Pine in the crack of the bark, uh, you can smell a vanilla smell uh, in it so this ponderosa more smelled more like a normal pine tree at least uh, from what 
people say the top I'm going to get rid of it's broken to begin with I'm smelling the this cut it does smell like a normal pine tree so okay then I'm going to examine. So the first thing I realize is on the bottom, there are many tiny shoots, so it's good. In the future, if I want to make a shocking tree, I can cut the tree here, get rid of all the thing above, and these tiny ones will still grow. So I'm going to leave these tiny ones without touching them and just see how it develops. Except I'm going to get rid of some uh, dead needles in this place. Just trying to get rid of the dead needles. Um, let's see. And then a straight trunk, which is okay. Uh, that's what it is for the majority of the seedlings. And here there are three branches come out of one place. It has start to create an inverse taper. So I will need to get rid of one of them. Now I need to decide on which one to get rid of. So I'm rotating the tree to try to decide on a thumb. Um, and uh, I'm trying to distribute the branches. Looking at the movement of the, the tree, the movement is very, very gentle, but it has some movement. Okay. I think the best movement is around here. This place. Um, okay. Okay, the best movement is around this place, this angle. So then, this may be the first branch, and uh, I may get rid of the one on the back. Um, and here we have a tiny, tiny bud under this foliage. I'm going to get rid of all these big foliage, uh, at least get rid of most of them so that the younger buds has a chance to develop. So what I can do is I can take this as the leader, this as the other side branch, this as the leader. Okay, okay, uh, and this, this little branch I want to encourage its growth. Uh, Ponderosa really has all these gigantic needles. I don't think I need any of them. 
So I'm going to get rid of all these huge needles. I'm not doing the candling, so I don't need to save the needle. This is still a seedlings. A seedling, so I don't really need to save all these gigantic needles. I just want to encourage some of the lower growth. All of them come off. Let's clean and I hope the inner there are two inner buds that are very tiny at the moment. I hope that they will come out after I remove all these needles. Mm. Okay, then I can remove the branch in the back don't need this one uh, and hopefully this one will be a nice branch I can even wire it I'm going to get rid of this one branch and this one branch, the two strong ones in this case. Uh, and I'm going to take this as the leader and this as the side branch. To really need to wire much of the branches. And I'm wiring them only very loosely, expecting the branches to grow rapidly. So one branch up and one branch down. One as the leader, the other as a side branch and back branch. Uh, the other 
will use it to both of this side branch should be encouraged. So I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of some of the big needles, just leaving a little bit. I'm not going to decandle it right now. I just want the seedling to get a little bit of strength. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think this is very good. Let's clean it up pretty nicely and uh, I can even further reduce the needle length a little bit so that the it doesn't look too unsightly. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, this looks uh, very nice as a seedling. Um, I'm not really styling the tree right now, it's just an initial treatment of the seedling uh, so that it kind of has its structure set out uh, especially those um, those downward hanging structure that's commonly seen in a conifer those branches they hang downward uh, Due to, due to gravity. So I'm setting it up early in its life so that when the trunk swell up, this upward section actually will be eaten by the trunk and give us the illusion of its starting as downward uh, hanging branches. So, so making this happen early in the tree's life um, oh 
while the branches are still flexible. Okay, and also removing all these huge needles, I hope to encourage these smaller butts to butt out. And I'm not putting curvature into the tree right now, yet. It may happen in the future, but as a seedling, I'm not uh, too worry about doing it right now mm, okay so that's my first treatment of this ponderosa pine seedling and uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, i will see you next time bye